Hello student, today we are going to discuss about chapter 8, motion chapter, all example problem we are going to discuss, okay. Uh, first, eight, I'd say 8th chapter, okay, from first problem onwards we are going to discuss, okay. First time going to discuss with example problem 8.1, this is a problem we are going to discuss, okay. First we will read the question, what is given in the um, question, okay. See here, an object travels 16 meter in 4 second, okay, 16 meter in 4 second. Okay, the next 16 meter, next 16 meter in 2 second, okay, this what is given, okay, it is a NCRT example problem, uh, class 9 physics, 8th chapter, first problem we are going to discuss, okay. Uh, so, first we will see what is a given data. Example problem 8.1 class 9 physics. Okay. Uh, so now we will be seeing what is a given data. First, get in the question is given as a 16 meter, it is travel 4 second. Okay. Uh, the next 16 meter is traveling in uh, 2 second. Okay. What is a question is asked? average speed okay so how to find the average speed so totally i know speed is equal to distance by time distance by time period okay now average speed is question okay average speed is equal to it's going to be total total distance by total time period it's very simple total time period okay now what is the total distance? Total distance is going to be 16 plus 16. Okay, that is a total journey. Okay, so total distance traveled in, uh, it is going to be, it is of average, vela, average speed or average velocity. Okay, it's, you have to take it as total. So total distance, 16 plus 16. Okay, first 16 is taken as a 4 second, next 16 is taken as 2 second. Okay, so now what is um, our total distance is 16, 16, 32. 4 plus 2 will have the uh, 6, okay. If you are doing 32 divided by 6, just a normal division only. 32 here, 6 will be here. 30 will be how many times? Uh, 6, 5s are 30, so 5 times, okay. 2 will be here, point zero 18. 18 will come how many times? Uh, 18 will be uh, 3 times, okay. Again 2, uh, 0, uh, 18, okay. It, this will be continue, okay. So, answer will be 5 point 333 3 bar will go okay uh, otherwise 5.333 bar instead of writing like that 5.34 also you can write okay now we asked average speed okay distance by time so numerator is meter denominator is uh, time okay meter per second this is the final essay unit okay 8.1 problem we completed okay now the next time going to do with the 8.2 example problem okay so, second problem we are going to discuss. Second problem I am taken. Okay, 8.2. First, we will see what is given in the question. The question is given. Uh, it is a odometer. Odometer, no. In a bike in front, they will, it will be there. No, speedometer, odometer, both will be same. It is a 2000 uh, kilometer uh, when it started the journey. When it is ended the journey, 2400 kilometer. Okay. Actually, it is taken 8 hours for this journey. Okay. Uh, so, this what uh, it is given in the question, okay. They asked what is the uh, average speed of the car, okay. Uh, both kilometer per hour, meter per second, both they want, okay. First, we will analyze the question, what is given, okay. Problem number, it is 8th chapter, second problem we are going to discuss, okay. So, example problem, NCRT example problem, 8th chapter, second problem, class 9, physics, okay. Uh, now, we will be seeing what is a given data, okay. So, when he started the journey, 2000 kilometer was showing in the odometer. 2400 kilometer when it is in the journey, okay. Totally for this trip is taken as a 8 hours, okay. This trip from starting to ending, 8 hours is taken, okay. Now also, what is the average speed? Average speed is going to be already I told you, total distance by total time period. 
ओके ना वट इस टोटल डिस्टेंस इज कवर टोटल डिस्टेंस इज कवर टोटली फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर ओके हाउ आई फोन फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर इट्स गोइंग टू बी टू थाउजेंड किलो टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर माइनस टू थाउजेंड किलोमीटर इट्स एक्चुअली फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर हाउ मेनी अवर्स इज टेकन फॉर दिस जर्नी एट अवर्स इज टेकन ओके सो एट अवर्स एंड फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर इफ यू आर सप्रैक्टिंग विल गेट अस फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर ओके सो नाउ 400 kilometer divided by 8 hours very simple okay so now uh, we have to do just cancellation okay so eight tab uh, two tables four will come 200 will come so 200 divided by 4 so again two table 100 will come uh, denominator 2 will be there okay again two table 50 50 kilometer per hour Okay, actually, one of the unit, one of the form, one of the value we found, kilometer per hour. This we found. Okay, next, next, the it's the speed average speed they asked. Okay, next is in the meter per second also they asked. Okay, so same average speed meter per second, fifty kilometer. How many meter? It's a one kilometer is thousand uh, meter. Okay, one hour is three thousand six hundred second. Okay, meter per. Second, very simple calculation. Zero zero get cancel. Zero zero get cancel. Okay. Ah, uh, next what I should do? Just simple uh, calculation you can do. Five hundred divided by thirty six. Ah, uh, just a division you should do. Okay. Five hundred divided by thirty six. So see here, five hundred will be there. Thirty six will be here. Okay. Five hundred divided by ah uh, thirty six. Ah, uh, so first what we can do? These two terms we can take. Thirty six as a one time. Okay, remaining four will be there. Ah, uh, here one will be there. Ah, uh, zero. Okay, now ah thirty six into three times. Hmm, um, three times eighteen. Ah, uh, nineteen. Okay, one not eight will get as a three times. Okay, so ah uh, thirteen. So the next what I can get here two. Ah, uh, here will be three. Thirty two will get or uh, again one more zero. Ah, uh, it is approximately. It's going to be the nine times point ah uh, nine because I included one zero. So velocity average velocity average speed is going to be thirteen point nine meter per second. The same if we want average velocity in a kilometer per hour means kilometer per hour means fifty kilometer per hour. Okay. Next. Okay, eight point two. Eight point two. We completed now. Eight point three problem. I am going. Okay, now we'll read what is the question is given in a eight point three. Okay, so eight point three. Usha swims in a swimming pool. She is taking ninety meter. Okay, it's a diameter of the swimming pool is a ninety meter. One end to another end. She is taking. She covered one eighty meter going and coming back one eighty meter in one minute. She is taken. Okay. Ah, uh, so what is the average speed? What is the average velocity? Okay, this is a question. Average speed and average velocity both is asked in a question. Okay, now one by one we'll do it. The first thing. Ah, uh, so example problem eight point three. I'm doing now. Okay, example problem. Example problem. Eight point three. Class nine physics. Okay, class nine. physics okay now we'll see how do how, how we can do this problem uh the given data is it is a swimming pool she is moving from one end to another end it is a 90 meter and she came back to the same point okay now first point you should find what is the distance what is the displacement okay distance is zero distance is 90 plus 90 because actual length of the path 90 plus 90 180 meter distance is 180 meter going and coming back is going to be 180 meter okay what about the displacement displacement starting and ending point is going to be zero starting and ending point will be the same zero displacement will be zero meter okay now one minute time is called one minute no one minute just i am converting as a second okay one minute to second if you are converting one minute is how many seconds 60 seconds okay 60 seconds okay now i have we have to find two two question one is a average speed and one another is a average velocity okay in the first one average speed so speed average okay speed is going to be distance by time period what is the distance 
நைன்டி ப்ளஸ் நைன்டி ஒரு நைன்டி ப்ளஸ் நைன்டி டிவைடட் பை சிக்ஸ்டி மினிட்ஸ் த்ரீ செகண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி செகண்ட் த்ரீ செகண்ட் மீ மீட்டர் பர் செகண்ட் ஒன் எயிட்டி டிவைடட் பை சிக்ஸ்டி ஜீரோ ஜீரோ கெட் கேன்சல் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் த்ரீ மீட்டர் பர் செகண்ட் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கால்ட் அஸ் அ ஸ்பீடு ஸ்பீட் இஸ் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பை டைம் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் வெலாசிட்டி வாட் அபவுட் த வெலாசிட்டி வெலாசிட்டி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு வெலாசிட்டி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு டிஸ்ப்ளேஸ்மெண்ட் பர் யூனிட் டைம் displacement per unit time what about displacement zero divided by 60 so zero meter per 60 it's going to be zero meter per second okay so displacement zero velocity zero distance is 180 speed is 3 meter per second okay now we completed as a example problem 8.3 okay now i am going to do with the problem it's a 8.4 the next problem okay so we are doing now ncrt example problem okay uh, it is class 9 physics and ncrt example problem 8.4 class 9 physics okay uh, the object is started from stationary okay initial velocity is zero okay it's at 6 meter per second in 30 seconds okay then he applies the brake is comes to the 4 meter per second next 5 seconds he is taken okay so they asked what is the acceleration of the bike uh, bicycle for both the case going up and coming down for both the case Uh, we want to what is the uh, um, acceleration okay now we are doing example problem 8.4 okay uh, the object uh, 8.4 what is the question is given okay initially started from rest okay initially started from rest means initial velocity is zero okay then he is at 6 meter per second within a 30 seconds okay then he applies the brake is come back to the 4 seconds okay Uh, for uh, the next case is taken 5 seconds totally they asked what is the average uh, average uh, sorry what is the acceleration for both the case there are two cases is there one is increasing velocity another one is a decreasing velocity initial velocity is zero okay it's good finally is at 6 meter per second 6 meter per second okay x axis velocity y axis time period i am taken okay if you are drawing the graph this problem will be very easy okay here velocity is going to be increasing velocity okay finally is at 10 6 meter per second he is maintaining 6 meter per second as a constant okay then he applies the brake is come back to the 4 meter per second okay it is called decreasing velocity so when increasing velocity with respect to the time we can take it as a positive acceleration decreasing velocity with respect to the time we can take it as a negative acceleration when velocity maintaining constant acceleration going to be zero there are two case increasing velocity decreasing velocity okay so both the case they want what is the acceleration first we will do first case okay case one condition one increasing velocity okay when the velocity is increasing he started from the rest okay when the velocity is increasing initially zero finally 6 meter per second uh, is taken for increasing the velocity is taken as a 30 seconds is taken okay the time period for this is 30 seconds time period for this is 30 seconds what about acceleration acceleration is going to be rate of change of velocity with respect to, to the time increasing velocity means positive decreasing velocity means negative here increasing velocity positive final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time period what is final velocity 6 what is initial 0 what is the time taken 30 seconds okay so 6 by 30 what is the 6 by 30 we can write as a 1 by 5 1 by 5 what is 1 by 5 okay 1 divided by 5 it's going to be 0.2 meter per second square okay it's a simple division only 1 divided by 5 is going to be 0.2 meter per second square okay so case one i got now case two i should do okay what is the case two decreasing velocity with respect to, to the time okay so initially is moving after some time is moving with the velocity reached with the velocity 6 meter per second okay he applies the brake is comes to 4 meter per second okay 4 meter per second for second case condition 2 okay so condition 2 will take it okay time period is taken for this is 4 second okay now acceleration is equal to v minus u divided by t what is v 4 what is u 6 what is the time period 4 okay minus 2 divided by 4 will have minus 1 by 2 okay what is minus 1 by uh, it is going to be uh, sorry for this is taken as 5 second for this is taken as a 5 second i am taken wrong it's a 5 second okay uh, so 
minus uh, this uh, subtraction will be minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2 divided by 5 okay so what i can do now just multiplication numerator and denominator 10 you can multiply okay where it's minus 20 divided by uh, 50 okay uh, just for calculation purpose only for division purpose only i am doing here what is a division okay uh, so 20 uh, 50 okay uh, it's going to be point uh, 0 200 will be how many times 4 times 4 times okay you can do with the direct also okay minus 0 0.4 meter per second square is a retardation that's going to be the acceleration okay now i completed as a problem number 8.4 now we are going to do with the problem number 8.5 okay uh, it's a 8th chapter 5th problem we are going to discuss i'll tell you i'll show what is the question is asked what is the question is given okay uh, the strain is started from rest okay initial velocity is 0 okay it's attained the final velocity 72 km per hour within 5 minutes okay they want what is acceleration and what is a displacement traveled okay this is a question okay it's a fifth cha fifth problem eighth chapter we are going to discuss okay uh, now class line physics eighth, uh, 8 8.5 the eighth chapter example problem eighth chapter fifth problem we are going to discuss okay class 9 physics okay now we'll see what is a question is given initially the object is started from rest zero okay that's very good uh, initially zero finally is attaining 72 kilometer per hour 72 kilometer per hour always the problem you should do with the mk system meter kilogram second okay kilometer per hour means you should convert okay time taken is called five minutes okay first i have to convert the unit 72 kilometer how many meter per second uh, that we should convert so that we should convert okay uh, 5 minutes is how many seconds this we also we should convert okay then only you can do the problem first we'll do 5 minute 1 minute 60 seconds 5 into 60 will have 300 seconds the time period will be taken is a 300 seconds 5 time period will be 300 seconds what about the final velocity so for it is a final velocity 72 kilometer solution i'm doing 72 kilometer we can take it as a 72 kilometer per hour okay one kilometer is how many hour one kilo one kilometer is how many meter okay one kilometer is how many meter no one kilometer is thousand meter 72 into thousand one hour is how much second three thousand six hundred seconds okay meter per second zero zero get cancelled okay zero zero get cancelled so 36 into 2 what we can get seven 36 into 2 will get as a 72 it's going to be two times 2 into 10 final velocity is going to be 20 meter per second okay now i am going to find what is acceleration acceleration is equal to v minus u divided by t what is final velocity 20 what is initial velocity 0 what is time taken 300 okay this unit is meter per second this unit is second meter per second square will get okay 20 divided by 300 this this get cancelled uh, it's a uh, meter by second square unit will be meter by second square okay now the next thing at 1 2 divided by 30 what is 2 divided by 30 1 by 15 1 by 15 meter per second square okay this is called acceleration now the second half of the question is going to be displacement s is equal to ut plus half at square okay if you want to choose any other equation of motion you can do it okay this is one of the equation of motion initial velocity is zero s is equal to of a is how much 1 by 50 t is how much 300 so t square 300 into 300 okay so two tables this is going to be 150 okay uh, one it's going to be 10 times okay so we'll have 3000 meter displacement is 3000 meter 3000 meter is how many kilometer 3 kilometers okay if you want you can give 3 kilometers otherwise 3000 meter is n of okay now I am going to do with the problem number 8.6 example problem number 8.6 class 9 physics we are going to discuss okay 8.6 a car is started initially uniform uh, the car is started in uh, with 18 km per hour to 76 km per, 36 km per hour within a 5 seconds is taken okay so now what is acceleration what is the displacement this is the question 18 km per hour to 36 km per hour 5 seconds is taken acceleration and displacement is the question okay uh, now 
I am going to do with the example problem 8.6, 8th chapter, 6th problem, class 9 physics we are going to do, okay. It is example problem 8.6, class 9 physics we are going to do, class 9 physics, okay. First we will see what is given in the question. Uh, it is initial velocity, initially the car is moving with 18 km per hour, okay. What about final velocity, 36 km per hour, which is given in the question, okay. What is the time taken? Time taken is 5 seconds. Now, I, I want what is acceleration first question. The second question, what is the uh, displacement covered? Okay, displacement covered. Before doing this problem, first you should convert as a unit. Initial velocity, 18 kilometer per hour. 18 kilometer, it is going to be 18 kilometer, how many meter? Uh, so, 18 kilometer if you are converting, 18 into 100. Uh, okay, 18 into sorry 1000 1 kilometer is 1000 meter 1 hour is how much second 3600 second okay 0 0 get cancelled okay so this will be 2 times this will be 5 times so initial velocity 5 meter per second very simple calculation okay uh, next is uh, what about final velocity final velocity is 36 meter per second 36 kilometer per hour I am going to convert as a 36000 divided by 3600 okay also uh, 0 0 get cancelled 36 36 will get cancelled 10 meter per second as a final velocity okay time is given in a second only always you should do the problem in mk system meter kilogram second okay kilometer hour and all you should convert as a si unit that's going to be meter kilogram second okay now what is acceleration acceleration is going to be final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time period what is final velocity in this problem it's going to be 10. What is the initial velocity? 5. What is the time taken? Time is 5. Okay. So, 5 by 5 will have a 1 meter per second square as a acceleration. If this is meter per second. This is second meter per second square. Okay. The first answer I completed. The second one is a displacement. Displacement is equal to uh, ut plus of at square. Acceleration will be negative only retardation. Okay. This is accelerated only. Initially, velocity is how much? Mm, initially, velocity is going to be a 5. Time is how much? 5. Okay, plus of acceleration is 1. Time is 5 into 5. Okay, 5 into 5 here 25. Plus 25 divided by 2. 25 exactly half of 25, 12.5. So, 25 plus 12.5. So, what I can get? Answer will be 37. Uh, 5. It is a displacement. No? The unit is going to be a meter. Okay. It is a very simple problem. Okay. Next problem. 8 point. Example 8.7. Uh, we are going to discuss. It is a last example problem. 8.7. Okay. First we will see what is given in the question. Uh, the question in acceleration is given. Uh, the brake is applied. Final velocity became as a 0. Yeah, uh, it is acceleration is given. It's a uh, it's it uh, applies the brake. Finally, two seconds is taken to stop the car. Okay, they want what is the distance covered by the car. Okay, uh, distance covered by the car is the question mark. Okay, so now it's a chapter eight. It's a seventh problem. Example problem. We are going to discuss class nine physics. We are going to discuss example problem eight point seven. Okay, class nine. It is a 8th chapter we are going to discuss. Okay. It is from motion. What is um, acceleration? Acceleration. It is a brake applies no. It is a retardation. Negative acceleration. Minus 6 meter per second square. What is the time period is taken? Time period is going to be 2 seconds. Finally, it comes to rest means final velocity we have to take it as a 0. Okay. Final velocity we have to take it as a 0. Now, the question is asked what is the displacement? This is a question. Okay. Uh, so, what I am taken is, uh, you can use any of the equation of motion, S is equal to ut plus half at square, v square is equal to u square plus 2as, uh, any equation you can take it, okay. Uh, in case, uh, you want displacement, uh, so initial velocity we do know, acceleration we know, time period we know, velocity, final velocity we know, okay. If you want uh, to find this one, you should find what is the initial velocity, that is the first thing, okay. Also, uh, I know equation of motion, v is equal to u plus at. Uh, S is equal to ut plus of at square, v square is equal to u square plus 2as. If any equation you can take it to find this solution, okay. I am taking first equation, v is equal to u plus at, 
what is u zero what is u initial velocity we don't know okay what is acceleration minus six what is the time period two second this is going to be 12 so zero u minus 12 minus 12 this side if you are bringing it's become as a plus 12 meter per second okay final velocity i found okay now displacement s is equal to ut plus of a t square what is u 12 what is t 2 minus what is a acceleration is 6 minus 6 okay time is how much 2 seconds okay 2 square will be there it is 24 okay uh, minus of times of 6 into 2 into 2 2 to get cancer uh, so 24 minus 12 will have 12 meter for 12 meter as a displacement okay uh, thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe thank you